Hello everyone! In this video I'll be reviewing this EcoViva countertop reverse osmosis water filter and I'll also be comparing it with my plumber installed reverse osmosis system. Having an RO water system in my area is important since the tap water TDS reading is above 400 parts per million most of the time. Not necessarily a health hazard, but it definitely affects the taste of the water. The TDS reading refers to total dissolved solids, and anything above 500 parts per million can be, potentially, unsafe to drink. Generally, you want the TDS to be under 100, and the water will be much better tasting. Higher levels will give the water a mineral taste and could possibly indicate contaminants in the water, such as lead, arsenic, or even pesticides. The TDS meter only measures the amount of dissolved solids in the water. It doesn't tell you what those solids are. So just because you have a reading of around 400, like I do, that doesn't mean the water is unsafe to drink. Still, I feel better with less dissolved solids in my water, especially since I really don't know what those solids are. That's why I always use the RO filter system for cooking or drinking, and even for my plants. I always give my plants RO water. So back to this system. This is a countertop system with a pretty small footprint. It measures around 13 and a half inches high, about eight and a half inches wide, and around 13 inches deep. For comparison, here you can see that it's around the same size as my air fryer. It's actually taller, but narrower than my air fryer, and the depth is about the same. So what's inside the box? Well, it comes with a really nicely written instruction booklet, a handy tool to get the filter out when it needs to be replaced, very helpful. And then this drip tray, which is magnetic. So it just attaches with the magnetic force. No strings attached. The machine weighs around 19 pounds. That's 8.6 kilograms. And so it's heavy enough that you want to keep it out on your counter, not put it away after every use, which makes sense because you're going to find yourself using this multiple times a day anyway, once you taste the difference. The machine has four little round kind of feet on the bottom that elevates the machine off the counter very slightly and probably keeps the machine from moving around although it's really heavy enough not to worry about it moving around still a nice touch the machine came with the parts taped down easy to remove the tape with no residue so no problem there here on top is where the filter is and this tool is what you use to change the filter it's just one filter as opposed to my house RO system, but this is advertised as a 3-in-1 composite filter. So in just a bit, I'm going to test this countertop system against my RO system with all its multiple filters and see how it compares. Actually, my RO system, which is hooked up to my sink, is in the basement, and then it has some tubing running upstairs to the sink. Here you can see my basement RO system with all its multiple filters. So if the EcoViva is just as good, or almost just as good, then it's a great alternative for people who live in dorms or apartments where it's not feasible to have a plumber come in and install the under the sink system that needs to be hooked up to a separate spigot on your sink. Or for an office, this is a great alternative to the so-called under the sink systems. This is really plug and play. So simple, just plug it in and it works. Here's the tank on the back. It has a maximum fill line at four liters and it's pretty easy to lift it right out and then fill it with water. It has a nice built-in handle, very thoughtful. Okay, let's plug this in and see how it works. You can see a nice display and there's no water in here. So the display says zero and you can see it's blinking the word out which means it's out of water. You can select three sizes of water. The largest is 500 milliliter, then 300 milliliter, and the smallest is 150 ml, which is what's lit up and is probably the default setting. For us in the US, we don't use ml readings. We typically use ounces, with a cup being eight ounces, and none of these settings is eight ounces. 150 ml is 5.07 ounces, and then the next level, 300 ml, is 10.1 ounces, and then 500 ml is 16.9 ounces. 
Okay, I need to fill up the reservoir and test this out. So this is now filled with my regular tap water and let's see what the TDS meter says. So once it's in the reservoir, I can't show you the reading, so I pressed hold and it reads 354. Not terrible, but for drinking, I'd much rather have it below 100 or even lower, right? Remember this magnetic drip tray? It snaps right into place. How cool is that? Okay, so apparently the minimum amount of water I put in is not enough. See, in the back, it fed the water into the machine, so now the reservoir is much lower, and I need to fill it up again with more water. Okay, now the machine says work, so I guess it's going to work. The TDS reading on the machine said zero, and now it's reading 19, and that's pretty good. So let's try this out. And as I'm getting ready to test this out, the TDS reading went down to 16, then 15, and now it's at 14. Okay, let's try the normal temperature water first. And that's weird. As soon as it finished dispensing the water, the TDS reading on the machine went back up to 27. So let's test this out with my own meter and press the hold key and it reads 27, the same as the machine. How do you like that? Okay, just for comparison, let me fill up a glass with my regular tap water and a third glass with water from my RO basement slash under the sink system. Okay, this is my tap water. This is Echo Viva, and this is my house RO system. So the tap water now reads 424, which is worse than before. I wonder how that happens. And then the Echo Viva reads 26. Pretty much the same as before. It was 27 before. And then my sink system, it reads 19 parts per million. Pretty much the same as the Echo Viva. I'm actually surprised because my sink system cost a lot more to have a plumber come in and run the water tubing and install it in my sink. And with all its multiple filters, it does basically the same thing as this countertop machine with only one filter as far as the TDS meter is concerned. They call this a composite filter, a three-in-one filter, and it's supposed to filter out heavy metals such as lead, arsenic, aluminum, and also chlorine and nitrates. You can get four different temperatures from the machine, so let's test that out as well. The settings are normal, I guess room temperature, then 115 degrees, 185 degrees, and 212 degrees. It's interesting they put the degrees in Fahrenheit, but they put the volume in milliliters instead of ounces. Okay, now let's try out the hot water. Uh, let's try the boiling, and you can see how steaming hot that is. So it's really nice to have an instant hot feature like that. And that fills up about six ounces, and it's hot. Okay, so I mentioned this handy tool they give you, and it really helps to get the filter out if you don't have the strength in your wrist to do it without the tool. You just twist counterclockwise and the filter lifts right out. And then it drops right back in and you twist it in clockwise. You don't need to touch it until it has to be replaced and that could be a year or two depending on how often you use the machine. Once you start to see the TDS meter creep up, then you'll know it's time to replace the filter. It actually depends on the water quality of your tap water Obviously, the more work it has to do to filter your water, the sooner the filter will need to be replaced. And of course, it depends on your water consumption. The more you use it, the faster it will need replacement, of course. The machine has a filter replacement light and a buzzer that sounds when the filter has reached the end of its life. The instruction booklet is actually pretty good. It has instructions on how to descale the machine, depending on the quality of your water, you might need to do this. And by the way, you might want to do this with your coffee maker too. One more thing, if you're storing this away after use, make sure to flush the internal tank. It's not enough to just dump out the water from the back of the tank. There's more water inside the machine that needs to be flushed out. To do this, press and hold the 150 ml button for five seconds. And oops. Make sure to have something under the spout to catch the water that's draining. And make sure it's big enough. 
So that's the EcoViva countertop system, and I'm impressed with how well it works, and it's really a great alternative to installing a house system, or if you're renting, or in an RV, or in a dorm, or in an office environment, then this system is really convenient. It does weigh almost 20 pounds, but you don't need to move it around. Just let it sit on the counter next to your air fryer. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.